Okay, so this is the second horse in this demonstration here, and uh, he's a seven-year-old. Six year old, sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll, if I make any mistakes here, Sapo will correct me. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and this is Ronaldo, and he's, most of his schooling at the moment is done by Sapo, but he's owned by Jess Clark, and um, Jess uh, is is just turning 21, I think, today. Um, but Jess, as a young rider, at um, 18, was riding Grand Prix, and, and she's hoping this is her next international horse. And we, we do too. We, we think he's really, really good. Now, he, um, he, he's a bit, bit of a nervous character, um, but he, he's, he's just, he wants to do the job, and he tries really hard. But this is exactly the sort of horse that you would send crackers when they got to, um, uh, to, to the Piaf Passage really important this is a nervous horse i promise you i know he looks relaxed but i promise you this is more than just nervous and you can see here um you know that's really critical that the horse that and this horse is is down the track a little bit he's doing it um he, he's, he knows his job and he knows this has got nothing to do with us about to hit him. Like the, the, the dressage stick becomes a conductor's stick as opposed to something that you wallop them with. Okay, so what we're going to do, Sappho, is if you can come over here about S and just halt on the wall here. Sorry? Uh, that'll be on the left if you're facing up this way. Yeah. So, you know, ordinarily we would start, if we can, on the left rein. Um, uh, most horses are left-handed, you know, so most people are right-handed. Most horses are the opposite to most people. So it works out really well. It means that their best side is um, the side that perhaps needs the least help, mind you. But if you're going to be any good, you have to end up being ambidextrous, just as the horse has to be equally um, gymnastic in both directions, left and right. Now, what we're going to do is Sappho's going to walk the horse forward. And the interesting thing is, once you start working a horse in hand, in actual fact, Sappho, can you get off there? Run your stirrups up. Can you work him in hand for two secs? Righto, well, it's, we can just have a little go at this. And so this is a horse that um, we've worked a, a, quite a bit under saddle, but we're, we've, we're cheating a little bit here. But we're just going to show you what it looks like when it's a little more advanced um, at, in, in hand. So I'm just going to step out of this frame here. And uh, Sappho, if you could just walk him first and just walk him on. Walk him, walk him. That's it, walk, walk, that's it, that's it. Okay, now very gently, let's piaf him, keep the walk going, and piaf gently, and let him go forward, and forward, and forward, and then halt, and pat. So you can see that horse actually knows what's going. Now, um, Sappho's actually trained him from under the, sat under the saddle, so she hasn't done it like this, but she's done um, lots of other horses like this, so she knew what she was doing, and you can see this guy just, just goes straight in. Now, what I was going to say is when you've trained these horses in hand, then you get on and they immediately piaf. It's just, it's, it's just it's like you've been gifted. It's too good to be true. Now, um, so Sappho, just walk him again and just do that. But that was perfect. So just getting the walk going. Now, I always make a point of the walk there, keeping him straight in the neck, straight in the neck, and then the piaf, and let him come forward a little bit. Don't hold too much. Let him come forward. That's it. So every step they go forward. So it's a little bit forward, but every step you want them to go forward. That's beautiful. And then halt. And you can see him just starting to settle and get some rhythm there. Now, the other thing is I personally don't ever use... Hop on, Sappho. I don't ever use any um, side reins or draw reins. And you will see these horses all start to come on the bit all by themselves. Um, you know, the classical principles is that you ride the horse forward from behind or they come forward onto the bit. And, you know, most people have very little confidence in that concept. And so, you know, they use artificial aids to get their head down. But it is a fascinating thing, you know. I, mean, I guess in terms of Grand Prix riders and trainers, we, uh, Rosie and I, um, represent the greeny end, if you like, of, of the scale. But these horses, if you want to ride them through from behind, they all go on to the bit without being uh, having restraining aids, uh, artificial aids like side reins or draw reins. Anyway, it's just an interesting 
um, uh, observation. But you can see when you're doing this, they are happy, they're relaxed, really critical. You want to swing the whip at them? They know these whips are not used for, um, uh, to aggravate them or, or cause grief. They know that. It's just a, a, a conductor stick talking to them. Right, are you going to walk on here, Sappho? So we're just walking on. And then very gently, I'm just going to touch him there behind. And you can see he just, just comes into that rhythm, just keeping it forward. And you can see. And now we just experiment with it, just steady, Sappho. You can see this guy is going to one day be really good. He's a six-year-old. And you can see there's no force used here. This is lovely. And, and, and no force. And so, you know, we don't do, you will drive the horse forward into a restraining hand. Like, oh, you've got to be mad. But you can see how light that is. That's, that's whew, and just, you would you like the PF? Oh, thank you. And, um... If the horse uh, isn't gifted with that piaf, well, we can't make them do it. We're not going to make them do it. We're not going to force any horse to do something that they don't want to do. But you can see this horse, he's just busting himself, trying for us. And, and, and we just go, oh, thank you. It, it's, just, it's just beautiful. And you can see this is a nervous horse. Believe me, I know when you look at them, you think, oh, that's as quiet as anything. Well, we've spent hours making sure he, he is quiet and relaxed and he does understand us. Okay, Sappho, let's walk again. And here we go. We've got the walk going. Now, again, we're just touching him up gently. And there's the piaf coming. And then we're, we're just working on that. And you can see how soft and light he is in the rain. You can see Sappho's got just the cotton thread contact. And you can see he's, he's working here. He's trying to work this out. That's a six-year-old. That's just sensational. And you can see he knows that we're just over the moon with that. And you can see how relaxed he is. He's going, oh, yeah. He loves it. Now, the next step is once you've got the piaf going is the passage. Now, the passage, when you're looking for it, and this bloke's just got the edges of it, when you're looking for it, the passage lives on the edge of a forward piaf that's almost going into trot. And so you, you, you start to piaf and you go more and more forward and you just look for the edge of the trot and there lives passage. Now, what happens is you go piaf, 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 trot, 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 and you go, no, no, then you go trot, short, short, trot, short, trot, trot, piaf, piaf, and it's right there we go, short, trot, short, piaf, 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 trot, piaf, piaf, go for trot, bang, bang. That's where the passage is. You've got to be able to nearly see a spider again. To start with, it takes some seeing. And all you do is when they nearly do it, you just go, that was good. Now, some horses are more inclined to do the passage than others. This bloke's a real, going to be a real piaf king. And, and the passage is something we just started. So you'll be able to watch this. It'll be interesting. Let's turn him around. Now, but you will see him go, oh, 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 because he tries so hard. He hates it when he actually doesn't um, do what you want. And, and, and you'll, see, you'll see this nervous nature here. Now, the critical thing is to make sure he knows that we're really happy with him. Okay, so what we do is we're going to get the piaf started and then we're going to start searching forward with a forward piaf, 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 trot, trot, trot. And just on that edge, you've, you've got to watch, you'll have to watch closely, you'll see perhaps, if we're lucky, the beginnings of some passage. And then the moment we get a passage step, we'll stop and pat him and go, you beauty, but you will see him. He does, he, he, he naturally, like, He's somebody that I wouldn't um, necessarily um, uh, identify with if he was a kid at school because I can tell you he'd be right up the front and going, oh, 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 to the teacher trying, trying to do whatever the teacher wanted. I'm afraid I used to sit at the back of the room. But it, this, this guy just tries and tr tries, tries, tries so hard. So it's really critical that the moment he tries that he knows we're just over the moon with him because... Uh, you, you know, he, he tries so hard, he can, he, 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 he can become complicated, I'm sure, or I know, if he wasn't recognised every time he tries. Okay, here we go. So we're walking first. And here we go with the piaf. 
And you can see he's, he's just about beating me to it. And you can see I'm just going like this. I'm going, whoa, whoa, piaf, piaf. And that's how much force we're using. Just got the piaf there. No kicking. Doing that. Now we're going to look for the passage. Just looking for the trot. Here we go. Just coming, coming, coming. There, there. That'll do. There's the beginnings of passage. And if you missed it, well, you still don't have the ability to nearly see a spider. But I promise you, that's the beginnings of passage. And it's like being able to see the beginnings of the headwater of the mighty Hunter River. All journeys are like that. He's got the piaf started, but that passage is just on the edges there. And I, I would think, you know, um, four weeks we'll be, we'll be showing off in that. But, but that we're delighted. Now, that's, um, we've probably been doing that for four weeks. Yeah, maybe a little longer. He's been tricky just getting there. Maybe eight weeks. And we're going, oh, that's quite a long time. Well, most people start this and they start belting their horse and, and four years later, they've just got a wreck. Like, it's very fast. All you've got to do is just recognise when they're trying. And even if they're not giving you a very good outcome, if they're trying... That's it. And if they've got no talent and can't do it and they're trying, that's still beautiful. That's the critical thing you've got to, you've got to recognise. And, of course, this bloke's just a freak. He's got wonderful talent. So if he's trying, oh, man, it's our ticket to, to the most beautiful horse. And I, and I, I know Jess, it's Jess's pride and joy. And, and we love it when Jess isn't here because Sappho loves riding him. And, um, and, and it's just a beautiful horse. Okay, Sappho, we're going to try that passage again. Walking on. Get the walk first. Piaffing. And you can see this bloke, how he tries really hard. You can just, just see he works real hard on that piaff. And you can see me barely touching him. Right, now we're going with the passage, looking for the trot. Here we go. There, there. Beautiful, that'll do. And we're just going to do a little bit back that way. That's come on since I, I last uh, looked at it. So it's, 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 you can, I think everybody at home can see that passage coming. We actually stop on that passage and just pat it. You could, um, you don't want to do too much. If you do too much, the horse starts pacing itself, goes, oh God, this is really hard. And so they start to um, withhold their best shot. As long as you do it in just in little short bursts like that, they, they, they throw everything at it because they know they're going to be out of there in a minute. So you, you seriously, you don't want to do it for too long because otherwise your horse starts to pace itself and, and basically sit down in a gear where it's, it, it's not going to kill itself by trying so hard. And, um, and so, you know, that for me, that's just beautiful what it's doing. And that was a good, I don't know, five, six steps there. And it's just... It's only a matter of time and it's so fast, the training. So it's, it's amazing. You can train them so quickly and yet it's, it's so gentle. No, foot, no force and they must be right. They must look like that. They just got it and you come up like that and you just whip like this. Man, he knows there's no chance that whip's going to be used um, in, a, in a bad way. It's just, it's just something that he talks to me with. Right up, walk. That's good. Just walking. Okay, here we go again. The piaf coming. That's lovely. And you can see that piaf step is going forward every step. This is the smallest moment of suspension in the whole uh, uh, Grand Prix uh, list of movements. It's the most collected movement you can do. Now we're going for the passage. There. That'll do. That'll do. It's just beautiful. So that's Ronaldo and Sappho, and, um, and, and, and you know, it's, he's, a, he's a lovely um, uh, exhibition of those movements starting. Thanks, Sappho. It's really good.